What's going on everyone? It's KT Pop here, coming at you with a brand new video. Your hair's given that uh, Corey Taylor in before I forget. Oh! Today I have a pretty special unboxing for you all. We are going to look at the brand new album from one of my favourite groups, Even. Wow! So here it is. <laughs> I always say that every single time. It's still in the bubble wrap and it's been sitting in my house for about maybe even a month. Still in the bubble wrap. These are actually pretty special because these albums are signed by all of the members. Both of them. How exciting. I'm excited. Are you excited? You're like, no. You may have seen in a previous video, we unboxed some even albums. Those ones were signed as well, but they were only signed by one member for each version and it was random. So I had no idea who was going to sign them, but this time I have all of them signed. This will be the first thing I have signed by Keita. We know how much I love him. He's touched these. Ah! I want to get into it. I want to see. I want to look at it. I didn't even say the name of the album still. <laughs> What's the album called, Kate? <laughs> Ride or Die is the name of the album. Okay, great. Love it. Let's get this fucking bubble wrap off. Oh, cute. Look at the little tape that this person's put on here. I bought these in like a group order off Instagram. Maybe I can put their name up here. They're pretty much the only even seller that I know in Australia because no one really collects them here. So thank you so much for getting these for me. Very excited. And this tape is cute. It's got little koalas on it. Koalas. Koalas. I kind of want to keep it. Every time. Just the hoarding. Hoarding is out of control. Put it in a box. Take to my new house. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Never know when you're going to need that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I love it when it's in a little pouch. This I have to keep. <laughs> That's actually good though. I'm going to say that one of them is called the ride version and the other one's called the die version. And we're just going to go with that because it's my channel and I can do what I want. All right. So here we go, two versions. We got the ride and the die version. <laughs> no, I think this is the ride version and this is the die version. It's like dark, like black, mysterious, like death. Yeah, ride. <laughs> oh, put me down. Diversion. <laughs> From what? <laughs> These are unsealed. You can see they're not sealed because they've been signed. So. so which one do we want to look at first? Josh, you're always good at knowing which one. Probably one that's fucking open already. You want to do the, the ride version first? <laughs> Oh my God, this is so crazy that it's signed by all of the members. So let's pull it out. It's got this nice little plastic sleeve on here. Well, let's have a look at the sleeve first. Third mini album, Ride or Die. And it's got all the members' names written on here. Ride or Die, the little even symbol. And on the back, you've got a list of the tracks. The title track of this was called Badder Love. And this was like a little bit of a shift for them. They usually have these sort of like heavy EDM, dance, gay club vibe songs. And this was a little bit more of like a upbeat, airy, summery kind of track. I actually really, really like it. I was a bit like taken off guard when I first heard it, but it super grew on me. And yeah, it's just like really good vibes. So definitely check it out if you haven't heard it. Oh my God. I actually don't know whose signature is whose, but these are really cute. This one's got a little heart, heart smiley face, a little star, another star. These are really nice signatures. And I like that it's on a light background. I can see that the other one is, you know, a black version and it's still using black pen. So this one is probably the better one to get. The cover on here, what have we got? A stop sign covered in a plastic sheet with it looks like drums of chemicals. Kind of strange. And on the back, what have we got? Stop, do not enter, a little cone. Are these, these are like chemical drums, right? You would know, working at a chemical factory. Yeah, like 205s. 205s. I'm always so excited because I know that like they all touched this. <laughs> this is actually great because sometimes you get signed albums and um, you just have to put them like back into a plastic sleeve or something because you don't want to have the signatures like open to the elements. But this actually has like a plastic sleeve that you could put on top of it, but then it does kind of hide the signatures. So I don't really know what I'm going to do about that. I actually have no room to display this anyway. So it's probably just gonna go back in here. I'm hoping in my new house I can have like this huge display of like all my best shit. Like even have an area for all my signed stuff. It's gonna be so good. I don't know where the inclusions are in here. Oh, it looks like they're here. The photo, card, the photo card is on top, I can see, but I haven't seen it. All right, here we go. I know how to do it. Turn it over, push it out. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, the track's there, ride or die. Oh, that's cool. All the names of all the members. So they're in like a, <laughs> some sort of warehouse with lots of spray paint, but they're in like business casual. So that, that's an interesting choice. Very interesting concept here. They look cool though. Oh, it's a baby. Factory, but business casual. Is that business casual? I don't know. Do you remember when we used to wear business casual to the club? Peplum tops, little pencil skirts, vibes. That's like showing my age right there. Ride or die, Jellyfish Entertainment 2024. There's my boy, look at him. Oh my God, so cute. I've got a good feeling that even are gonna come to Melbourne next year. I'm gonna call it now. And then I'll call back on this video and be like, I was right. Little legs. I love it when they wear shorts. It's so cute. Look, knees. <laughs> K-pop Stan gets excited about knees. <laughs> oh. This hair looks so good. It's like he's got a perm or something. Oh my God, this is very noughties. Wearing the two polo shirts like over the top of each other. What? You said it very English the first time. Polo? Yeah. <laughs> two polo shirts. <laughs> Do you want to go to the, the golf club? Put your new polo shirt on. Over your old polo shirt. Yeah, chemical drums, but with even and the names of the members on them. 200 kig metal drum. We know, we're chemists. Yeah, because drums are measured in kegs. Oh my God. He's wearing a skirt here, I love that. Is it a skirt? It's like shorts that kind of looks like a skirt when he's standing up. A skort. Men wear skorts. Uh -huh. What the heck is a skort? What is that? Leather pocket. I'm not a huge, oh, why is there so many inclusions? That's crazy. I'm so excited to look at those now. I'm not the biggest fan of this concept, I'm not gonna lie. I love his makeup though, he looks so cute here. Julian is my bias wrecker. Oh my God. Everyone is obsessed with this man. Yeah, I don't really like these outfits. Oh my God, why have they all got these lip biting photos? <laughs> Stop it. Even this, like, what is going on with these? Oh, he's wearing a skirt over jeans, over pants. <laughs> over jeans, over pants. I can't tell if it's denim or not in this photo. Look at how many layers are these guys wearing, shit. I know. <laughs> Seems less business casual and more just unhoused people wearing all of their clothes at once. Maybe. It does kind of have that vibe, especially like in the warehouse. Yeah, in a warehouse. Wow, this makeup looks incredible actually. Oh, it's a baby. Every time I see him, ah, baby. Yeah, this makeup looks nice too. They've just got really nice like highlight under the eyes. They've done that really well. Here's the actual baby. Macne. I don't like these glasses that they've chosen. They're kind of lame. Little legs. Yeah, I really hope the other version's better. You might've done it again, because this is not my favorite. So one concept for the whole book? Yeah, one concept for the whole book. Not loving that. Literally, they don't change outfits the entire time. And at the back here, we've just got the lyrics. Oh yeah, and that's the picture that was on the, the cover, I think. Yeah, oh, I keep forgetting this is a signed album and I'm just like chucking it around. <laughs> and we've got the CD at the back. Just a nice pale blue color there. I'm not super impressed with that, but it seems like the inclusions are pretty cool. So let's have a look at those. Group poster, sure is. What a huge poster. I'm kind of over posters, I'm not gonna lie. Cause I used to get like a lot of pre-order stuff and they always come with posters. And I've just got so many and I have nowhere to put them. I think in my new place, I might get some of them like framed to put on my wall, like my favorite ones. But there you go, they're in the outfits, the one outfit from the album. The three outfits each at the same time. We can only do one concept, one outfit concept in here because you're all wearing three layers. What and that's- the, What if the other one is just like the same outfit but <laughs> that inside parts are on the outside? And yeah, they've just taken off one layer or yeah, switched them around. So there's a little poster. Looks like we've got a couple of like postcardy type things here. So we'll have a look at those. First, maybe this one's just like paper. I'm gonna do this one first because this feels so flimsy. Okay, yep, so this is just, what is this? Oh, like a little note thing. I heart you, dear my everything, I just wanted to say. And they've got options to tick. I think this must be done by one particular member. All right, let me see if I can read this. So I think this is Sungyeon, I think. But this is cute, it's like a little note. There must be ones for all the different members and they get to like tick what they want. He's ticked lean, I wanted to say, I just wanted to say, lean on me because you make me smile. Please be at my side forever, love, and then his name written there. And then a little PS message that I definitely can't read, but that's kind of cute. I guess there's these to collect for all the different members. So this one actually has the name on. So we've got Jiu here. So it's gonna be a picture of him. Oh, I think this is one of those things that you scratch. Yeah, this is, this is pretty like crazy that I'm doing this. 
I'm feeling a little bit YOLO today, so. For the content, for the content. Thanks. For the content, for the content. And I'm using my fucking nail. A little message from the member there. I kind of like, well, I actually don't know if I like these things where you have to scratch it off. It does remind me of scratch cards though, which I do love. So <laughs> let's go buy some scratchies after this. And let's have a look at the little photo of him. There he is, little baby boy in the same outfit, of course. Shirt and a little vest, dressed like an old man. He's young, I think he's 17 or 18 but he's dressed like a grandpa. And this other postcard we have, maybe this is like a group one or something. Um, Ride or Die, third mini album. Let's see. Oh no, it's another random one. Jonghyun, one of my favorite members in the same outfit again. This outfit is probably better than some of the other ones that the members are wearing. Like it's definitely better than this one. Still a little bit uh, grandpa chic with this jumper, but I do like these kind of higher white socks with the shorts. That looks really, really cute. That's nice, two little postcards. Let's have a look at the photo cards. Who are we gonna get? And we also get this little um, frame thing. Who was it we opened that had this as well? The little frame. Uh, Zero base one, I think. Yeah, because it was this, it's gonna be one of the Cinema Paradise ones, right? This one's just like- A cloud or something. A cloud. I'm trying to think which one of these I think is gonna be like the better photo card because they've got these different backgrounds on here. All right, let's just go for this one first. Who are we gonna get? Ah, we got Sungyeon here. This one is definitely the worst photo card because this one isn't like a selfie photo card. It's one that's sort of taken from far away. These ones are not my favorite types of photo cards, but you know, as long as we get one that's kind of like this and then like a selfie cute one, I don't really mind so much. <laughs> oh, Jiu, oh, he's really coming for me today. There he is again. Oh my god, we did not pull Kata. Maybe in the next one we will. What do we think? Definitely. <laughs> I, I really actually thought this was going to be Hunbin. Now I feel like I'm jinxing myself for the next album and we're going to pull Hunbin. But let's see. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. This one, it won't look as cool. Oh, I wonder if they take the photo cards with this in mind. Probably not. That's too much pre-planning. They probably make that with the photo cards in mind. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this is cute. I like this little pose, the little pinch cheek pose. I haven't seen that for a while, actually. And he's winking. Very cute. Um, but yeah, I quite like this photo card. I, these ones I'm not a fan of, but you know, I do like him. I think, is he my third favorite member? He used to be my second favorite member, but now I think maybe he's my third or fourth. Cause I've really started liking um, Yun Seo. Like his personality is so cool on camera. Like he's just like really effortlessly effortlessly funny. All of Even actually have really great personalities and they've really like come out of their shell. When they first debuted, because they're all like from a survival show and they're all from like different companies and groups and stuff, they came together and they were like a little bit awkward. And so when I watched their content, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. But then they really started bonding and like opening up and now I really love watching their content because they're all like really funny and like cute together. And yeah, I recommend sort of watching a bit of their content if you want to get to know them because they're really, really fun. All right, let's get into the next version. This one I called the dye version. Um, this one's in plastic for some reason. I still love that it's the dye version. <laughs> dye version. Look out. Look out. Oh, that was a really satisfying noise actually. Peel. Save that for later. Never know, never know when you need a fucking plastic sleeve, mate. I 100% know that I'll never need it. Again, we've got the little plastic cover on the front here. Ride or Die, all the names, third mini album, and the same on the back. What? Nothing, I was like how you went towards yourself. <laughs> like I, <laughs> look, I never said that I do things the easy way, okay? This actually looks a lot better than I thought. You know how I was worried about the black pen being on the dark background? It's actually not that bad because the color of this is not black black, it's like a dark gray. So you can actually see the signatures quite well. I don't know if it comes up in that camera, but here you can see like they're actually pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna see if they sign them in the same spot, yeah. Okay, they do. I mean, I guess that makes it easier, right? Because you're doing like one after another. If you're doing it in the same spot, you're just like dip, dip, and everyone knows like where they're supposed to sign it. Now I want to see how similar. This one's actually rubbed a little bit. Some of them are a little bit like rubbed off. This is like more of a smooth type texture, whereas this one's super matte. 
so the pen would like sink in more. Whereas this one, if I rub this, it will come off like quite easy. So I feel like you've got to be a bit more careful. I've Maybe seen- that's why it was in the plastic so the plastic doesn't move back and forth. Like... Yes, probably, you're right. I've seen some like horrors of people getting them and because the material of the album is so shiny and smooth, they've literally just touched it and it's smudged. That's worst nightmare, right? You've paid like, I think I paid $80 each for these. Um, which is pretty standard for a signed album, but it's pretty good because they're signed by all the members. So $80 isn't that bad. But like imagine paying 80 bucks and then you take it out of the plastic and you touch it and it just smudges, like devastated. Well, let's have a look. Let's see if the concept of this one is a little bit more interesting. I will see if there's inclusions. Yep, inclusions coming out of our fucking eyeballs, mate. This cover's completely different. Very plain with like a, I don't know, smoke or mist or something there. And on the back as well, just got that blue smoky mist. All right, let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> fucking inclusions everywhere, dude. This one, I'm super scared to touch the cover. So I'm gonna be like a bit more careful. Right, but let's have a look. Oh, okay. Just uh, chairs in a warehouse. So many warehouses, a different warehouse. Oh, this window is pretty cool. <laughs> I looked at the window before I looked at the members, which is kind of weird. Um, but it's like, looks like mermaid scales. Okay. I remember these photos. This version is definitely better because I remember when I saw these photos um, before the album came out, I was like, oh my God, they look so good. So we've gone for more of a silk shirts, dress pants, dress shoes, and this makeup, they've gone for like a really highlighted, like wet look. And I think it's really, really cool. I do remember though, some of these photos were very heavily edited, the ones that they put on Instagram which was quite upsetting. They really made Kate's face look super thin. And I was like worried. I'm like, oh my God, did he go on like a fucking crash diet? Someone else, they had like edited his face. So it like didn't even look like him. And I thought that he'd had plastic surgery, but he hadn't. But yeah, just the way they edited these photos was like a bit, how you going? So not a big fan of when they do that because these guys are so like good looking, like they're idols. And I don't understand why you have to edit their photos to holy hell so it doesn't even look like them. Ridiculous. All right, so let's have a look. I'm excited about this, this version. Ooh, yes. I like this creepy vibe with the masks. Look at my boy, he looks so cute. His little cheeks. So you don't want his little cheeks to be like edited. That's, it makes his face look cute. Oh my God. These are so much better. Wow. The kid's done it again. <laughs> Every time you get it right. <laughs> Every single time. You've got some special skill. You gotta go on Hamish and Andy. I can pick which version of the K-pop album is gonna be the best. And they'd be like, well, we don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Out of two. Out of two. Based on the opinion of my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I have to say about this. <laughs> I really love this like tied top silk. Oh, very nice. <laughs> really nailing the sentences today. I oh, know, I'm a bit tired, but we're doing it. He photographs so well, like it's actually insane. Um, I don't think I've ever seen an idol that shoots as well as he does. It's quite fucked. I love this when they do this like lighting where it's got like the, the strip of light across the face. I think it's so, so pretty. Yeah, these are amazing photos of him. Oh, what is that? Is it through a table? It looks like they're taken from below, like through a glass table. That's kind of cool. And there's like a bunch of dice on the table. Mm. See, this is what I'm talking about, the makeup, right? It's kind of hard to see on the, on the camera because it is so like shiny. There you go, you can sort of see like all the highlight on the cheek and like the bridge of the nose and around the eyes, the lips have got that shine. Like this is just really nice, fresh type makeup. Oh my God. His eyes look a lot like 10. Like if you just looked at his eyes, that looks like 10. I've never noticed that before, but especially in this photo. Tick tock, tick tock, take a chance, you stupid hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Is she canceled? We've got like the, uh, what do you call this? Not Vivaldi clock. What's the melting clocks? Oh my gosh, here he is. Here's my, oh no, he's not my bias wrecker, my bias wrecker wrecker. <laughs> my personality boy. He's got some lovely sparkles on his cheeks, looking super, super cute underneath a sheet. Yes, please. 
Oh. Oh, I thought I felt another inclusion for a second. <laughs> that would be a wild. Oh, wow. This looks so cool. It's like the half closed eye expression is like pretty nice. Mm, he's posing really well in these photos. Oh my gosh, look at the little cutie. Hmm, what is this jacket made of? Like suede? But it kind of also looks like snake print, very strange. I love his eyes so much. They're so pretty. Oh, I like this photo. I don't know what it is, but so like the being really front on the face, his face is quite like symmetrical. Oh, <laughs> I love how all the others, it's like smoldering looks. And then Gio's just like, this little cute little smile, like <laughs> different vibes. It's good, I like it. A little candle. Yeah, here we go, there's some nice highlight. Ah, oh, his concept is candles, it seems like. This reminds me of Songhua. Oh my God, again, every time. Talk about 80s in every single video, but this top like really reminds me of him. Oh, <laughs> and then some group photos at the end here. Yeah, these outfits are so nice and the makeup, love it. Love, love, love. And all the lyrics at the back and the credits and another shot of them from above. Amazing. And the CD at the back here is just like a very dark gray color. Definitely enjoyed that version a lot more. And I'm excited to see the inclusions because they'll obviously be wearing those outfits. So let's have a little look at what we got. This seems like there's more stuff for this. There's like less postcards and more like kind of more interesting stuff. So that's cool. Let's look at the poster first. There we go, I love it. I don't know what you'd call these outfits. I don't know, but they're really cool. And the shine, look at the shine. Look at Kate's nose, it's just like ding. Cheeks, cheeks, cheeks. Yeah, I love it. What should we look at next? This is like a random, oh! Oh my God, look what we've got. We've got one of those mobile things. Where's the string? There's no string. Provide your own string, I guess. What the fuck? Well, it doesn't say that. I, I, <laughs> I was looking at it like I was reading that. Yunseo here. And it's one of those like little mobiles. It's, it's got like an illustration here of like how you're supposed to put it together with the string, but they didn't provide a string. But that's kind of cute. Maybe I'll put it together and put it in my car. At the moment, as you know, I've got Swan, but now I've got a new addition, which is like a little Karomi air freshener that Kai got for me. It's really, really cute. And it smells amazing actually. It's that black ice. When I put it in my car, the smell of it made me feel a bit sick. But now that it's like dampened a bit, I really like the smell. Let's have a look at the postcard, I reckon. Who are we gonna get? Why do I feel out of breath? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got my bias tracker. Looking cute with just like a bunch of, it's look like, looks like he's trying to solve a murder or something. Like all these uh, crime scene photos and some very strange looking lamp. Love that. <laughs> Go off. <laughs> <laughs> And this is kind of random. You got a tarot card? A tarot card, yeah, I guess so. A couple of little hearts on the back here. The lovers, oh fuck, what number is this? Gene help. Six. What is it, V1? V1, VI. yeah, VI. Six. Six. Yeah, one after. Yeah, five. yeah, because the V is five. Yeah. All right. I'm smart, all right? So I don't know if there's anything on the back of this or if this is just like, this is it. But let's have a look at the other side and see. Yeah, so this is just like a little, I don't know, tarot card. There's an even logo on the back and yeah, the lovers. I don't know how many of these there are to collect, but that's like a really annoying inclusion that I'm sure no one is actually gonna bother collecting. What? There'll be someone. There'll be someone. <laughs> like, I've got to collect all these, including these fucking tarot cards that don't even have a member on them. Well, there's probably someone who's like, oh my God, even tarot cards, perfect. <laughs> May yeah, actually, you're right. Because some people would be really into that stuff mm. and they'd be like, this is my calling. Mm. Um, I don't know what kind of inclusion would get me excited like that. I did like the one us playing cards. I thought that was cool. Like more than tarot cards, like the actual playing cards. That was really interesting. Things that you can actually use that come in albums are really cool. Like games and stuff. Like the kingdom had that board game as well. It wasn't real. Oh yeah, you couldn't actually play it, could you? <laughs> it didn't have any rules or anything. That's right. Yeah, that, that was the problem. I'm like, hey, like, you gotta make up your own rules. Just like in life. There are no rules. There are no rules, guys. This is the shit one. So let's, <laughs> not shit, but just like not my favorite. Shitter. So let's have a look. Oh, my bias wrecker. This is a very strange angle. Why, I don't like that photo of him. I really don't. That's a bit of a shame. It's a bad face. And yeah, it's got like a stank he, face. Yeah. yeah, not my favorite. No, I love him. You know, everyone can take a bad fucking photo, but 
don't put a bad fucking photo on a photo card. Like, what are you talking about? Let's have a look at the other photo card. Oh my God, I actually thought I was gonna like jinx myself with the Hanbin thing. But no, we got Yonsei. Okay, this is good. We got, this is like, you know, my Rekka and my Rekka Rekka. I really like, this is super cute. The poses that they've done for these photo cards are really, really nice. I love the little blowing kiss. His hair looks amazing like this, that blue, black, little silky outfit, the nice little ring accessory. Oh no, we did get the frame, sorry. Oh. <laughs> we got a frame as well, slightly different this one. Window instead of the cloud. That is cute, I do like that. Let's see if it improves this photo card. Nope. <laughs> Two of the photo cards that I pulled. Pretty happy with these ones. Not so happy about these ones. That's okay, everyone has their tastes of photo cards. So that was my unboxing of the photo book versions of Even's Ride or Die album. Let me know which was your favorite version in the comments down below. I really don't think anyone's would be the other one, right? Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy my content. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> and you know it. <laughs> fucking out. I think I've been like talking a lot, just like blah, blah, blah. So I'm like out of breath. Oh, diversion. I gotcha. <laughs> it took you a fucking minute. Get out of here. I'm going live. I didn't even say the name of the album in the intro. I was struggling a bit today. I don't know why. Save that for later. Wham! Just like a panorama. <laughs> Here's me looking on the album to see if there's the version written on here. As per usual. She fucking knows nothing about the album. <sighs> when am I gonna have the time to learn Korean though? Oh, take some classes, motherfucker. I know, I will actually have to go to classes because if I don't go to classes, like I just won't do it. <laughs> don't put that in, stank face bitch. <laughs> don't disrespect him like that.